What is your name? My name is Mateus um, Pagliasi. I'm from Brazil and it sometimes sound, sounds weird and people say Mateus or Matthias or Matus. So my name is Mateus, but here I would say Mateus or Matt if it's easier. And what brings you from Brazil to Longmont? Well, Longmont was uh, a business choice, actually. I came to the States to get my master's um, in Kentucky. And then I met my business partner in grad school, and he was from Colorado. He is from Colorado. And so we decided to move here. And Longmont was a, was a more of a business decision uh, rather than a personal decision. But I'm glad I came because I liked it, I think. Um, it's not a big city. Denver is right there. It's like 30 minutes or something. Um, and it's very diverse and, and a lot of cultural options and like artistic options and there's a creative district or something, creative conferences. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be here. I think one of the biggest cultural differences um, between Brazil and US, um, there's quite a few actually, and I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> but I would say um, relationships are different, tends to be different. I am an introvert, so I am not your usual Brazilian person, I would say, like party all the time and blah, blah, blah. But even though I think it's different, I think it's, uh, things tend to be less personal. I'm not saying that's bad or wrong, it's just different. It's less personal. I like it more. How many siblings do you have? I have one sibling, one brother. Um, he's eight years older than me. He plays guitar, he sings. All of my family, my, my sibling, my cousins and everything, they're in Brazil. So yeah, but I am the youngest in the big extended family. I'm the youngest of 13 cousins. So I have cousins like they are 52 or you know 40 something because I came like really late to the party. So I, I just was like the youngest one. So that's kind of weird. My first piano teacher was my, my cousin and she was like, I don't know, 30 something, 35, and I was 11. And what do you do in Longmont? I work in Longmont. I'm a music director. My instrument is piano. Uh, and I'm a music director in a church called St. Stephen's Episcopal Church. Also, I work for the Archdiocese of Denver. And I have a business. I'm a business owner. And I have a music school. Yeah, those are the main things that I do in Longmont. What made you want to learn the piano? I started to learn the piano. I was in the church. I was the church boy for church boy for a very long time and I started learning drums because I needed somebody to play and they didn't have anybody. They started training me so I just kind of learned like on the practice because I needed to so I didn't want to, to take lessons and everything so everything kind of overlapped and then after I started uh, playing the church I figured out I need some lessons and then they need keys and I had to keep players so I went to uh, I started taking lessons. And then I moved from keyboard to piano, um, and then all my my practice was in church pretty much. And then that's um, things were kind of working out at the time, and uh, I decided to go to college for music education. And then I I moved I moved quite a bit, and then I moved to another town, another city actually. It's a big city in Brazil uh, named São Paulo to try um, to make a living out of it. And then I got a job in a company at Yamaha, the music Yamaha. Was not, I was not working with performance, but I worked with music education and the worship market and business development and I grew a lot there and everything. Yeah, I traveled to a few places, Japan, Australia, that was really cool. I have good memories for that, that job. And I still, I'm still friends with a lot of people there. The co-workers and previous managers. Yeah, this was a, was a good thing. Yeah, but that's how I started. I started in the church, because yeah. I need somebody. Do you have a favorite restaurant in Longmont? In Longmont, I've tried an Indian restaurant. I forgot the name. Right on Main Street, and I like it. Really, really good food. And also, I went some the other day. I went to a Japanese restaurant, and I really like Japanese food here too. Uh, I think like now that stuff are getting back to normal, and people are feeling less anxious about COVID and everything. Now I'm getting to finally, you know, to experience places, experiencing uh, different places in one one. I like restaurants. I like like to go out and eat. Brazilian food one one. I never tried before, here, uh, but I heard there is a steakhouse in Fort Collins. I think I'm not sure if one one has something specific specific about about this, but I never tried. Looking forward to it.
Do you have a favorite uh, Brazilian dish? It's not, it's not Brazilian per se, but it's really common there, like pasta, lasagna, I really like those, those kind of food. Coxinha, coxinha is really good. Coxinha is something like, I think it's from Brazil, like, originally. It's something like in this shape, like a tear, tear trap, like this shape, and you're stuffed with chicken or, but the seasons are really good, the chicken or meat or vegetables, I like that. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, back in Brazil, I have a Liaza. I don't know how to say that. Liaza is a very like, small dog. And we used to have a boxer, too. His name was Bruce Dickinson. Um, but he's not with us anymore, unfortunately. But, yeah, I like dogs in general. Yeah, The place I live with now, I live in now, they have a golden retriever. And also another small puppy. I like him. Um, like my dream job was to have. I was dreaming about having um, a place for dogs. I'm not sure how was that definitely in my mind at the time, but I think it would be something like an NGO focused on provide care for abandoned dogs or something like that. And I still have that um, in my mind somewhere. So at some point it's gonna it's gonna happen because I like that. <laughs> what was uh, your experience like going through the pandemic? The pandemic. I was in the United States. Uh, I got here in 2019. Like six months later, the pain that pandemic hit. And I remember it was such a mysterious thing. I remember my my professors and bosses and directors were saying, hey, we're going to have a meeting uh, the next couple of weeks to decide whether we are having in-person uh, classes or lessons because uh, NBA, NFL, they just canceled everything and they deal with a big amount of money. So this thing is like something real, this COVID thing, blah, blah, blah. So everything was, everyone was, uh, were walking on eggshells. And, and I was here, so I, I was walking like shelves like twice as much, I feel like, <laughs> because I, I had just gotten here like six months uh, before the pandemic hit. But it turns out um, that it was a good time for me. It was a really good time for me to settle myself and have some structure because I didn't have some structure for quite a while. Uh, yeah. So that was, was a good time for me. A good time. For me. Do you play any sports? Mm, I don't play any sports. Zero. Um, Brazil is so big in soccer. If you don't know about Brazil, Brazil is number one in soccer. Bro. What would you say is uh, your favorite thing to do in Long Island? Favorite thing to do? I, I think I'm still uh, figuring it out. I, I, I like to go out uh, and eat. So I think restaurants is uh, my top priority uh, for sure. So I would say that. Would you rather go in the future or in the past? Future. I think, I think no matter what happens, future is always um, exciting. It's always something that um, nobody can control. Nobody can control it anyways. So it's exciting because there are room for opportunities and you can just try stuff and do it. And so future, for sure. And what and you mentioned that you uh, had that experience of being an outsider. What were what were some of those experiences that you had? Uh, I think just um, I think just in general, like I'm the youngest of a big family. I was raised Baptist in a Catholic country. Now Brazil have more evangelicals, but back then, like thirty years ago, I'm thirty one. Thirty years ago, people weren't Catholic. So my family came all over, from all over the place, all over the world. I'm 31 and I'm married, so I'll, you know I I play piano like in Brazil like what, and I don't like soccer so, I feel I'm just I'm just and it doesn't feel necessarily bad it just feels it feels different it feels like I can see the world different I think I've been learning about myself trying to embrace this instead of fighting you know against it. What, what would you say is something that you're most proud of? Most proud of? 
I guess embracing changes and try to create projects. Like, I didn't need to come to the United States. I had a job, everything was good, it was settled. And then I was like, huh, there is, you know, I, I came here I came here for a summer camp in 2014. And then they mentioned about the master and I had no idea I had a master's degree, blah, blah. And five years later, I tried to apply. You know, and the world's so big, I was like, dude, that's not gonna happen. Like, you know, it, it may happen, but it may not happen. And it happened and I got the letter of um, acceptance and like confirmation letter, I don't know how it's called. And I was like, whoa, now I have a big project in front of me. Like, I, I can stay here knowing that I could have gone, or I can look from look five years from now in my, in my history and say, hey, I just embraced some change. Uh, embraced some change and came to the United States. So I'm here. And the same happened from Kentucky to Colorado, and who knows where else. <laughs> I like to read. I like reading. I like um, hang out with people. I'm more of a um, hang out for three hours with three people guy than go to a party and stay for the whole night. Loud music. I don't like loud music at all. I think it's so weird. Um, so in the party, I, you know, I may go to the party sometimes, of course, but I'll be the chill guy on the side. So I, I like that. I like, I like connection. Like so I like to hang out with people, I like, you know, go for some coffee or some drink, uh, or eat. I like that, like, just, you know, get people together and cook some meal. Uh, I used to do that with my friends back in high school. That was so nice because we were such a weird group of people, a bunch of nerds. And one of our favorite things were, uh, was um, get together to eat. And then they came up with some different stuff to cook and everything. And I don't cook, so I just like to eat. Uh, so that was a good combination. But yeah, I would say that more like introvert stuff, more like low-key stuff than go wild. And I like wild stuff too, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's not, it's not my default mode. Like it's, I do that to have experiences, to have fun, to have you know different memories, to expose myself to different situations. But I. Definitely more low key kind of person in my free time. What's something you like from Brazil that you wish existed here? I guess the taste of the food. That's the big top one thing I would say. That exists here that you wish Brazil had? Hmm, that's a good one. Uh, I guess the entertainment here is, is just here. Like the way they people do entertainment here. Like shows and sports are so connected and everything. So I wish Brazil had that more well uh, structured. And yeah, because it's, it's really impressive. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the best place for sure for entertainment. It's here, United States. I like to watch stand-ups though. But... Do you have a favorite stand-up comedian? Uh, I've been watching lately Trevor Noah. He's from South Africa, but he's been living in the States for, for quite a while. And he, he's in, uh, I forgot the name of his show, it's like Daily something, Daily, Daily News. He's in New York, it's a big show, blah, blah, blah. And he replaced the guy who had been there for 20 years or something. So he's such a clever guy. That's another person I'd like to have a, a dinner with. So smart, I like him. Well, I wish they didn't ask me if I speak Spanish. Nothing against with Spanish speakers at all. First of all, I'm speaking English because I'm, speak I'm talking to you right now, right? If I'm meeting someone. But my first language is Portuguese. Not, nothing against that. Uh, so do you speak Spanish? I, <laughs> I, I decline to answer that. 